I Did you it. notice none of Jack in the Box's burgers have vegetables? Yeah, they do. None of them. They like don't? the double western, whatever, yeah, all like of them. It's all patty and cheese and oh. sauces. All of them. Really? The jump, does a jumbo jack have tomato on it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah tomato and lettuce, yeah. Maybe yeah, I wasn't looking at that room. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, how do we feel about this? Did you guys notice that different restaurant chains, like fast food ones, are starting to include boba on their menu? Yeah. Oh, I've been seeing that yeah. shit. Even fucking like Arby's or some shit. I'm like, <laughs> Arby's <laughs> boba? Popping, dude. I think so. Okay. I didn't know that. Or one of those <laughs> weird ones, like a Sonic's or- No, there's a Jack in a Box now. Arby's boba? has dim sum now. <laughs> dim sum <laughs> Arby's? <laughs> This so, so Yoshinoya has had boba for a while now. Yeah. What well, kind of is That's adjacent. adjacent. Yeah, yeah, it's adjacent, right? It's yeah. Japanese. But like you said, Jack, Jack in the Box, Box is now yeah. running boba in certain locations as a tester. I personally don't give a fuck because it tastes like shit anyways. Right. Yeah. Like if you want good boba, you go to a boba place, and I think yeah. to me it's actually good because it expands the market. People okay. get used to it, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they'll start drinking it, oh, and then after a while, like one of their other true. friends will, will like go try this one. And they're oh, like, this one's oh, way better. Yeah, what is this, Jumbi Matcha? And then they start going to Jumbi. But you don't go to Jack in the Box to get real anything. No. Like, imagine going there for the tacos, and you're like, authentic tacos. <laughs> <laughs> their tacos <laughs> are really good, though. <laughs> and their egg rolls are really good. But they, they, yeah. they're in their own category. Like, that true, is not true, a taco true, yeah, in yeah, any true. sense. It's its no. own category. It's its yeah. own thing. Yeah, whatever the fuck it is, it's good. Right. But it's not. But their egg rolls are good. Are they? They got a lot yeah. of good shit. They, got, they do. Because we do that shit, too. Yeah. Fucking go to fucking JJ's Cafe, and there's a fucking club sandwich in there. <laughs> you're like, oh, so it's like. Good. You know, I was like, what the f it's like the same shit. But it got peeking duck inside. Yeah, yeah, we got fucking random quail legs, and we also got club sandwiches. I didn't think about that. It is. It is Reuben kind of, in there. Yeah. That is a good point, though. It, it is a gateway. Like yeah. it's a gateway drink to like get it if you liked it, and you yeah. probably would have never went to a straight up boba shop because you don't know if you like it. Mm -hmm. You get it as a side thing at Jack in the Box, and then that becomes your new thing. Yeah. I bet they're gonna do their That's own true. little flair to it. You know. Yeah. Do you think it in any way like uh, it puts out? Certain shop, like let's say there's a shop right next to it that's like a They're independent done. place, like like a tapioca. Express. Yeah, because it's gonna be more expensive than Jack in the Box, right? Yeah. I think that's more of an issue of like Starbucks next to a mom and pop. Like it's almost irrelevant of the culture. It's just like when a big conglomerate comes in, what happens to the mom yeah. and pops is what I think. Right. But, but they can still compete. No matter what. But there's no way that the people who are going to that boba place are going to be like, oh, Jack in the Box is cheaper, though. Fuck like, some yeah. old Asian lady's like, oh, I think I'm going to go to Jack in the Box. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's never going to happen. No, it's not. Never going to happen. Because even when I go to Jack in the Box, I know my Dr. Pepper's going to be watery anyways. So I'm like, the rest of the drinks just are extra fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, if they can't do Dr. Pepper right, well, it's over. <laughs> dude, how are they going to do a milk tea with boba? <laughs> Have you guys had the Yoshinoya bobas? No, is it good? It's actually really good. What about really? the ones with Panda Express? Because Panda Express got, they got I didn't try that yet. No, I didn't what? try that. What? Yeah. But Yoshinoya has matcha, they got milk tea, and then they got like a different like. All these coffee places got matcha now, isn't that crazy? But did you yeah. did you go there because you were like, I'm gonna get boba? Or was it like I'm I went curious. there to get my friggin' beef bowl. Exactly. And you were like, ooh, I'm I curious. Went, I did that exact thing. And I was surprised how good it was. It was actually Yoshinoya good. Yeah. I, thought it, I mean, it, it's good because I thought it was gonna super suck. I don't know if that's like playing into the taste bud bias, there. you know? When you go there for lunch. You gotta try Yoshinoya <laughs> in Japan <laughs> though. You guys know that you have a boba place, right? I st I'm a connoisseur. Okay. That's what makes our boba so good because we actually try it and eat all kinds yeah. of shit. That's true. <laughs> you guys know. Sometimes, like, we're really bad at sales, I think. Mark <laughs> <laughs> tried it out earlier. No, I go to, I go to Ryan's setting it up and we're just talking about yeah. everything else. Anytime someone goes, this is the new joint, I always try it out too because I'm just like boba, like, regardless. Yeah, it's nice to compare. And I would just drink it and I'm yeah. like, oh, this place kind of sucks. Or this place is really good, you know? It's like when we went to a boba time. Like, we went that to place sucks time. ass. We went to boba time between filming and I. I got the matcha thing, I was drinking it from him, and I was just like, oh man, you can't get this anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> Boba time is hands down one of the worst, because their size isn't even right. It's not even the traditional size. What's the traditional size? It's like they have their own size Boba that's like three quarters. Oh, the ball size. Yeah. It's like buying oh. pants and you only get capris every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you That's wanted boot cut flares. <laughs> That's Boba Time, man. I go to Boba Time for the acai bowls. I really Is that like good? There. No, dude, I don't know what you're about. I don't go Is there, that good there? Boba, the acai bowls? I like them. You know what I mean? Their but... Boba's trash, though. Isn't Boba Time, isn't everything non dairy as well? I think so. I think but I think they're trying to grab up the mainstream to like. 
it's like a gateway boba uh -huh. for like yeah. So is it, is it um, ultimately when you go all the way up the chain? Is it Chinese owned, Korean owned? If you go up the chain, yeah. it's Taiwanese. That's oh, like the Chinese. epitome of bo boba. Yeah. Boba I mean, time. I mean like boba no, time, no, boba no. time. What boba. do you mean? Oh, like the, the owners? Chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking know. about the company. Yeah. The company oh. owner. Boba yeah. time. I thought you were talking about the boba hierarchy <laughs> pyramid. That's what I thought you were yeah. talking about. Not that, but just like who, who, who's getting the money? Who's getting the last dollar? When you I probably know. like Kroger or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Cause they're everywhere, dude. Yeah. They're all over. Cause I thought it was like a bunch of Chinese and Koreans that owned yeah. it, but I don't. I don't really know. Yeah, where it came from. So you guys are cool with this Jack in the Box thing? You completely, completely chill with it? I mean, it caught me off guard when I first saw it. I was like, what the fuck? And then it makes me feel weird. Like not. And not from a cultural perspective, but just like seeing if I want to see your outrage. Like if McDonald's like serve pizza randomly, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like the same feeling. Right. Just because like like I, I like branding, so when I look at things, I'm like, oh, that's a brand. I understand like, and I can almost uh -huh. predict what other things are gonna do. So oh, when I they do something that's non predictable, it, it catches me off. But as a boba shop like owner, that doesn't is there like an opinion that you're expected to have? I wish Bart I was like, I'm Taiwanese and I'm tired of people hijacking my culture. Yeah, say that, bro. <laughs> that would have been yeah. so good. Try it, try it on. Try okay, it on. yeah, try, try that, try that narrative. I'm so mad. Yeah? What are you mad about, dude? They keep stealing my culture. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. what say, else? Say it, bro. Dude, channel your neck shark comments. Come yeah. on! Get your inner neck shark Yeah. Guy. They, Outrage! Think, think you're They're, offended all the time. You're offended. You're stop offended. profiting off of my culture! Yeah. They're, really They're victimizing my 23 and me. Yeah. They're monetizing off my ancestors. My 23 and me. Yeah. Oh, what about me, dude? Because I'm like, dude, Jack of the Box, that's fucking white culture. Now we got these Asian shit moving oh. in. Oh! That's a bit. That's a bigger play. I think I'm cool that. with that. I'm not cool with it. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Because I'm thinking about the menu too, and I'm like, dude, you guys are getting rid of all kinds of cool little options, and you're replacing it with all this Asian shit. They got egg rolls on there now. Mm -hmm. They used to have chicken teriyaki balls. Hey, they, you know, you know what's interesting? They do. Here, here's some top comments from Neck Sharks post about it, and some of them make pretty good sense. One person says, honestly, if it allows me to drink boba at 2 a.m., I'm golden. <laughs> That's tight. That's, That's a convenient tight. thing. That's tight, yeah. Yeah, because boba places aren't usually open at 2 a.m. That's where they'll win, probably. You know one of my favorite things? I don't know if they have it anymore at Jack in the Box is chicken fajita pita. Remember that one? The chicken. Were they banging? Was it good? Yeah, good? I never had it. Jack in the Box was one of the first experiences to fine dining that I had as a child. Yeah. Because, like, when you go to most places, it's hamburgers. But then you start to explore outside of hamburgers, and you're like, ooh, Mediterranean, chicken fajita pita, right? Yeah. And then you have egg rolls, Mexican world, food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're tasting the continents. <laughs> yeah, tasting the continents. Because <laughs> the tacos are even like, like real shells. Deep fried oh, yeah. tortilla shells. It's not like the fake ones that you get at like Taco Bell. Jack in the Box is continental, baby. Okay. It's very mm, it's continental. Very if you haven't had a Jack in the Box taco, then you haven't had a taco that is that is completely wet. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> it's so wet you can almost kind of see through the taco. Up it's like, wait, this is a hard shell? How come it's like a sponge? How did it get so wet? It's all the oil, bro. <laughs> it's delicious. All the goodness, dude. Now I just want Jack and Monster lunch, Ooh, dude. With good. some curly fries. Oh, the curly fries are. On, on I love their hot sauce, bro. I love. I, do I don't know why I love um, their taco. This is like taco hot sauce, right? Yeah, it's bomb. I Did you notice it. none of Jack in the Box's burgers have vegetables? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. they do. None of them. They like don't? the double western, whatever, yeah, all like of them. It's all patty and cheese and oh. sauces, all of them. What about the jump? Does a jumbo jack have tomato on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah tomato and lettuce. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I was yeah, looking yeah. at that room. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Like, jack, I, dude, what? Misinformation yeah, again on JK. The sourdough, whatever, patty milk, whatever. Yeah, dude, they got that have zero jack. veggies. Uh, yeah. Like the sourdough jack? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. That, they, they don't have it. Yeah. I think they have one tomato. They have one tomato on the sourdough jack. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty Yo, sure. that's a game changer though. You could put everything on sourdough bread. Oh my god. That is yeah, a game changer. I agree. Yeah. Put I, boba on it. I do love that. <laughs> I do love how mainstream boba is becoming. Yeah. Because cool. yeah. that was one of my worries about like opening up in Waikiki because it's hell expensive, right? And I was like, well, there's a lot of Asian clientele. And yeah. then the cool thing is like we're like the only boba shop on the block. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah, so oh, it's okay. Now let me ask you this: If if Jack in the Box is moving into your area, like across the street from you, I don't care. It's Jack in the Box. 
We're high end, baby. That's smart. Mm. Yeah, you know, mm. how, that's like if Forever 21 came in. I'm Louis Vuitton. I'm like, I don't care. I'm so Louis Vuitton, the, baby. Let's say that someone comes into your place and they go, I want to go somewhere else that has better boba. What's the nearest place? Oh, here? they got to walk, bro. Yeah, yeah and Americans don't walk. <laughs> It's a while. Uh, there used to be one like a block away and they closed down. They couldn't survive. Because you guys were eating up all their business. <laughs> you took out a mom and pop shop? No, they were already dying. Uh -oh. Yeah, oh, they're already on their way out because of COVID. It's not my fault. It, it shut down before COVID. Yeah. <laughs> They were practically dead in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Should have made better boba. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, so like it kind of blew my mind a lot of people that wanted like the real shit mm -hmm. like the milk tea with the boba yeah it was of the white variety <laughs> oh wow mm -hmm. and all the asian people were like let me get like the fruit purees and then the That's different fancy. they wanted different things right wow. yeah and then so like like aussies would come through and then you know they're just like do you have like the popping pearl and i'm like no nope. and he goes oh you just have the regular boba and i'm like yeah and then they wanted just black milk teas or like, they're like, what? Yeah. Or like when they order matcha, they just want it like the ceremonial, no sugar, like the uh, way they do it in Japan. Yeah. So I'm like, man, you guys are very cultured. Aussies like to suffer, dude. <laughs> Where they live, man. And then when the Asian kids come in, they're like, can I get extra sugar with this? And they just make it all crazy. Is there something that um, somebody's requested that you're like, I'm not going to make that? <laughs> well, you're not supposed to mix dairy with like citrusy stuff that much not citrus um You're not supposed to like, like acid like, uh, or yeah like like what was it was it like pineapple i should know this shit but it fucks your stomach up oh it does oh you like can't have juices and milk together yeah 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 it's like you can't i know there's like orange creamsicles and stuff yeah. like yeah, that yeah. that's fine right uh -huh. but like when it's too acidic and then you mix it it can it can mess up a lot of people's stomachs. You know what messed up my stomach one time? Speaking of Jack in the Box, I was at a, I was getting a milkshake like I don't know fucking twenty years ago. I fucking oh, love yeah. milkshakes. Oh, and, they're and, so good. And, and they're like, do you want it malted? And I was like, yeah, it sounds good. I'll get a strawberry malted, and that was whack. What does that mean when they malt it? It's like some kind of it's like powder that you just put. It, in yeah, it's some kind of powder they put in there. And it like tasted weird as fuck. Malted. People like malted. I think it's like an old school milkshake. I don't know what it means, but it's. I, didn't I don't know what it means either. And it like you Strawberry threw up. Malted? Oh yeah, I oh, couldn't. Shit. I couldn't oh, drink it. I threw wow. it right up. Yeah, Damn. it was awful. Don't do that. The worse the food, the better my body absorbs it. <laughs> it's weird. I could eat fucking junk like Taco Bell, everything, fucking milkshakes and shit. My body digested really good, and the minute I eat a salad, I have fucking diarrhea. That happens to me with like way. that happens yeah. to me with, uh, with fine dining. Like when I go to a really fancy restaurant, yeah. and someone's like, "Oh, you must try this cocoa vina vanilla Yeah. <laughs> Cut. Might be really? Fire. I can't take like fine dining. It might be the like, butter and the oil because they fucking. Scum. I can't take fine dining because I'm hungry after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck off, dude. You're sitting here eating four hundred dollars for a little like. Okay, cool. I have to go to Taco Bell after this. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.